This is gonna be a quick on the fly review of the ABC Design Viper 4 stroller. We bought this one almost exactly five years ago when right before our daughter was gonna be born in 2017. And I would say about 75% of the day since we've owned it, we've used it, and we've walked at least, you know, between two and 10 kilometers each day, more close, more commonly towards the four or five. But anyway, I'll put a, something on the screen show about how much we've used it. We've really, really used it a lot. It's gone to a lot of different countries, it's, so it's been in the airplane. Uh, it's been packed up, put in the car, back out of the car a whole lot. There was a phase where we were actually um, putting it in the car every day, so that accounts for some of these scratches that the aluminum has accumulated. Um, more recently, in the past few years, <clears throat> I would say a couple years, it's just been in the garage and just used every day. Um, as a, a walking stroller even for our daughter who's now four over four years old so getting closer to five but now she's really too big for it and uh it's time to let it go although it still works perfectly one thing you might see down here is this flashlight of course this didn't come with it we do walk at night quite a bit so i just uh, used a, a small bungee cord and this uh this little work light so i just wanted to show you that so that way we can see the road in front of us but it's time to get rid of that <clears throat> additionally uh, this wasn't didn't come with it this was you know something we added on skip hop worked really good we oh my gosh it's really messy but we would put like all kinds of little things in here our daughter that's why it's kind of messy she would throw things in here too you can put your phone in that we actually had a tiny mosquito spray in there um, and the other thing we have that we've used a lot, turned out to be really handy, is this plastic cover. And it goes over the, it didn't, I, I don't think it's by this brand. I think we got this somewhere in France for uh, just like 10 euro. Anyway, it's coming really handy when it started, when we got caught out in the rain. It and totally encloses the stroller so your little one doesn't get wet at all. Of course, you still get wet. <laughs> but anyway, that's all the accessories and things that we added on to it. I think other than that that's pretty much the way it came we did have the what's it called the bassinet but uh, when we moved over to the US we went ahead and got rid of that because we just didn't need it anymore um, all right so oh one other thing we did just recently a couple weeks ago one of the tires went flat and it turned out the uh, valve interface right there had cracked at the inner tube and so it was leaking I ended up putting a, a new uh, getting a new inner tube and it wasn't, didn't have the angle, so it must be this one. So it's, it doesn't quite look as good, but it's working fine. I would say like every, I don't know, six months, I had to uh, fill the airs back, fill the tires back up with air because they would get kind of low and you could still use it, but it would just be squishy. And it feels so great when you refill them because it's like suddenly super, super efficient to roll. It feels like you're not doing any work. So anyway, um, <clears throat> Let me just go over a couple features of the stroller. <clears throat> First of all, it does have a locking mechanism, which it's in the locked mode right now, which uh, we used a lot. I know some of them have the hand lock, but honestly, this is all you need in my opinion. So you just unlock it like that. And of course, lock it like that. What else? Um, this here actually comes off and we usually would have it off. Here's one of my first complaints about the stroller though. It's not that easy to, to take this bar off uh, because look how tight it is there and you have to get your finger in there. It's quite difficult, especially with one hand. So I'll just leave it on for now, but basically you just press this button in and then it lifts off, same thing on the other side. But our daughter was so big now that she didn't want that there and she, we would just lay it flat, uh, lay the whole stroller flat and she would just kind of use it as a platform to hang out on. Um, by the way, you can lay it down. There's a, a bar back here you squeeze. <clears throat> press it all the way. That's as far as it goes, so it's not quite flat, but close to flat. And it uh, goes up pretty steep, this too, if you want. Like so. Of course, the standard safety belts. To be honest, we hardly use those, though. Um, that's not a recommendation. <laughs> but When she was really young, we did. But once she got a little bit bigger with better balance and stuff, uh, we didn't do the, use those that much. Um, the top here, of course, you have. Now this is another area of complaint uh, I have a little bit. This thing, one of these, 
Oh, okay, well they're in good now actually, but occasionally these metal rods would come out of the plastic and then it would just kind of be bouncing around over there. So uh, right now they're all in there good, surprisingly. <laughs> it seemed like I was always having to fix those, but anyway, um, so the way that that works, for some reason it's often crooked and I find it difficult to get completely straight. I mean, not a big deal. Um, it has this little flap here, which we never really used. Um, the only thing is if it was like cold, I remember in the winter in Switzerland, sometimes uh, the wind would blow it like that and we were always putting it back down. And I think I even put some tape on there once because we didn't want her to get too much cold wind and stuff on her. So maybe it would be nice if they put a piece of Velcro there or something so you can have it held down. But uh, yeah, then you can put it back down like that. It does say it's SP or UPF 50, so that's some kind of sun protection. Obviously, it says sun protection right there. What else can it do? Uh, of course, it has the telescoping uh, handle. That's pretty nice. I usually liked it like this. My wife liked it a little bit shorter, but uh, yeah, that's pretty good. What else features do we have? You can lock the front also. I never really needed to do that. I believe that's what this switch, I think. Sorry. Yeah, there. Then you can, then the front's locked. I only did that like one time or something, but it's not really ever served to be useful. Okay, so next thing is I'll go ahead and show you how you take it down to store away in your car or wherever. Okay, so usually I go ahead and collapse that down. Then there's two handles right here. Hope you can see them, yep, right there. And of course one on the other side, and you just simply squeeze and then lift. Really easy. That pops off. Next, uh, make sure you can see right here, there is a uh, rotational piece. You rotate that, at the same time you squeeze up here, and kind of give it a, a bit of a shake and a shove. It takes a while to get the feel for it, but once you do, it's pretty easy. Then the whole thing just collapses like that. And then what we would do is we would put this on top, like in the car, like that. So first I'd lift the bottom part, and then I'd put this on top. That's the kind of the process we went with. Now, if you wanted it even flatter, the wheels do come off as well. And they're really easy to take on and off. You simply, there's this, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a metal tab here. So you simply push that tab, falls out. Push this tab on this side, that falls right out. Now it gets a lot flatter. This one, these one, uh, these uh, back ones are easy too. There's a button. It's hard to see, but there's a button right down in there. Simply press it. Comes off. Press the other one, and it comes off. Now with all that, it gets a lot flatter. The whole the whole system gets much more compact. <clears throat> Goes back on easy. You just push it in. They just clip into place. That. Like that. Like that. Now you have your wheels on. Now to bring it back. But, oh, that's right. To bring it back up, uh, there's there's a tab right there. You can see. <clears throat> so you just pull the tab out and lift up, snap it into place, and then set this back on. <clears throat> and by the way, this can be rotated, so if you, want, you can have it in that orientation too. But we almost never used it like that for some reason. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so that's pretty much the operation. Oops. That's basically the operation of the stroller. Um, now let me talk a little bit about the wear and tear that it's taken over five years and so many, so many hours of use. In my opinion, it's held up really well considering the usage we've put it through and the age that it is. But there are some points of wear. You can see up by the, up by the handle here, there's some 
kind of chewed up areas just from my hands or my wife's hands um, over here as well same thing you know there's a lot of scratches and stuff but a lot of that has come from uh, airplanes I think uh, air flights you can even see an airline sticker was left there the residue um, yeah qu quite a number of scratches have built up on it I think from from flying and maybe being loaded in and out of the car many times uh, those are the most signs of wear, I think, on it. Uh, we haven't really cleaned it that much. We just kind of cleaned it with some uh, wipes a few times here and there, but haven't done too much for cleaning and stuff. <clears throat> I've never, like, hosed the whole thing down. There, I'm starting to think that there's starting to be kind of a lot of play in this wheel. I don't know, but it might have had a little bit less when we got it. It's not bad. It still works perfectly fine. It rolls smooth, but... You know, this has probably had, I don't know, I'll throw the number up, but probably had like a thousand kilometers or miles or something on it. We've really, really used it a lot. And sometimes also like on a lot of gravel roads and a lot of um, like dirt trails and stuff like that. So it hasn't been all nice, easy asphalt either. You know, we, yeah, we've, we definitely put it through its uh, paces. Uh, what else can I say about it? I think that's about it. I'm not really sure what that is, to be honest. Maybe that's a, an accessory that we didn't get. In terms of the price, I also, I'm sorry, I don't remember the price, but I want to say we spent like 500 euro on it or something. Uh, if I, I'll ask my wife if she has a better idea of the number. Oops, I shouldn't have pushed that up because you have to use two hands to put it back down. There's a spring button there and also on the other side, so you have to use both hands to, and, well, here, I'll go ahead and do it real quick. Hang on. There we go. I just paused the video and went ahead and did that. So they can also put their feet down there, is the idea, I suppose. We didn't use it in that configuration too often. Anyway, in terms of the price, I'll flash it up on the screen if I have a better figure, but I want to say it was around 500 euros, which to me at the time seemed ridiculous. I was like, 500 euros? When you can like see some at the store for like 150 or something, but <clears throat> it actually was one of those things where you spend a lot of money, but you don't regret it because we've used the heck out of this thing for like five, yeah, five whole years, and... If we were to buy the cheaper one, I'm sure we would have had to go through, you know, a number more. To, to For full transparency, though, we did have another stroller at one time, like a cheapy one, a little uh, kind of umbrella, more close to an umbrella stroller. Not exactly, but lighter duty than this. Um, we used that for a period of time just to, uh, for putting in the car, in and out of the car, while we left this one in the cellar where we would walk every day with it. But then eventually we got rid of that one, and this one became the walking one, too, so... But just to let you know, it, it wasn't, we did have one of the, we did end up with one other stroller. Uh, no, that's not true. We actually had another one too in the, we had in the U.S. for when we came back here for trips. It was like uh, another cheap one because we didn't want to haul this one to the U.S. every time. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much it about the stroller. I would rate it like, I mean, other than a couple minor inconveniences like, like that button, like this thing coming out, uh, some, this uh, metal tab coming out sometimes. Literally, that's like my only two complaints. It's a really good stroller, and I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, it's got a bit of weight to it, but uh, for its size and for what you get, it's actually pretty light considering most of the, the frame is aluminum. Like, that's all aluminum, that's all aluminum, aluminum, and just plastic joints. Um, anyway, I think it's actually a really great stroller. I, I'd give it like nine and a half out of ten, you know, if I were to score it that way. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. As for this one, we're going to see if we can get a few bucks for it, and uh, if not, we'll just donate it. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Have a great day. Bye.